What's up Photoshop artists? I'm going to show you how to get this nice thick to thin line uh, when you're drawing in Photoshop like this, okay? And it's going to be really helpful to get that nice thick to thin in Photoshop. Um, you could do this right here. I'm using the Wacom Cintiq, all right? And what you want to select is in the brush options, go to Shape Dynamics and Smoothing. Uh, then over here for um, the everything should be set to zero and the only one that you want to make sure is that control is set to pen tilt tilt scale 200 percent and then select control to fade okay 25 and then 25 percent for maximum roundness and that again is going to give you this terrific thick to thin line like that and that's something that I've been searching for quite a lot um, when trying to get the right settings. So this is going to give you that nice thick to thin weight value, the line weight value uh, on there. And you know, you can kind of uh, really get like some nice feathering work done and really do it up like that. And then you could even do another setting for it, which I'll show you after for um, feathering as well to get perfect feathering. I'll show you that in a moment. But take a look again at this here, and then also if you click on the brush tip shape, boom, right there, we're at a hard 30, all right? Uh, a 30 so you could zoom in in here and see this, but normally you'd be at a 300 DPI um, you know, resolution for the page. Okay, so image, 300 DPI, maybe you know, 11 by 17 artwork page. Uh, size and then you'd select probably like a brush number six. Okay, I just selected 30 so that you guys could see it. Um, otherwise, over here, you can see the rest of the settings here. Uh, size um, five pixel here. You see the dynamics here. You see the spacing here. That's checked 25%, etc. Okay, um, but then you go and you click on shape dynamics, and that's where you get those settings I told you before. Okay, now for some cool feathering. Okay, so then we're just gonna go ahead and click here on control, put that under fade, and then 35, and then everything else is off and set to zero. This is under the shape dynamics, and you're gonna see that you're gonna get this shape here. But what that's gonna do is allow you to control that shape. So look, you could do like this which is gonna be really, really cool. And that gives you some really nice feathering. Uh, it's limited because you can't go past that size unless you change it um, in the settings. But look at that, like everything is gonna just have like a really, really nice, you know, neat kind of feathered look. And you could even kind of go the other way. But again, you're, you're limited by that size. So you can't go more than that. See, look, if I try to go more, you can't. But again, if you're trying to get some really nice feathering done here, this is terrific. So that should also help uh, if you want. You could also mess around with the diameter settings here. If you bring it up like this, that's gonna give you a longer line and a thicker beginning of the stem. If you go a little bit less, it's gonna look more like that. See what I'm saying? So you can mess with that here, but keep that at zero if you just wanna get a nice, clean kind of line like that. You know what I'm saying? You could also make the length of it just by changing this dynamic over here. Let's put 65 and then that's going to give you really long ones. You see that? So that's just going to make it longer. So that should help you guys and I, I hope this gives you something to work with. And here you can see some of the uh, comic book art that I'm doing right now. Um, over here real quick, just zooming in, but again, it's a small panel. See the size of my hand next to it. So, um, you know, when you zoom out, you'll see this is like my upcoming comic book, Code of Justice, I'm working on. So you can like kind of see what I'm, um, what I'm kind of doing here with the line work. I'm playing with it. That's like a quick kind of, uh, you know, unfinished piece, but you get the idea. So there you go, guys. And if you get a chance, this is my finished artwork here for Gakito, uh, the new comic book starring Kari Tagawa as uh, our character, Lord Shinrayu, co-created by writer Brandon Wilson and me, the artist Greg White, so you can see the stuff that I'm doing here. Uh, this is available for download right now at comicsology.com or isneo.com, and you can check it out. Again, this has been comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from beyondcomics.tv. Uh, if you get a chance, please make sure to check out my comic book. Um, at my website at beyondcomics.tv and you could actually enter for a chance to win uh, possibly having your name 
uh, appear in our comic book or your likeness drawn, just go to beyondcomics.tv and follow us on all our social media on the upper right corner. You can see some of the work we're doing there. This is our Gekito comic book. Again, thanks for making uh, us hit over 3.8 million views on my YouTube channel, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. It's a lot of work being an independent comic book artist, but we're doing the best we can. Anyway, guys, have a safe New Year's, and as they say in comic books, to be continued. Peace.